In this exercise, I will show you how to troubleshoot a PNID controller that is not stable. In this project, we have two PNID controllers. The first one is controlling the steam to the autoclave. And the second controller, which I've just added, is controlling the acid to the autoclave. When we added the acid controller, the two controllers are no longer stable. So the easiest way to troubleshoot a controller is to copy the set point, the measured and output values, to the trend window so that you can see how the values change. So we will go and copy those values from the ACID controller. If I right click on the ACID controller, from the access window, I can pick up the set point, measured and output values. Right click, copy full tag and paste those into the trend window. And then I can trend the output to see. And now if I run, we can see that the output of the acid and of the steam controllers, they're not at all stable. The first thing you can do is you can change the proportional band on a controller to slow it down. So if I look at the acid controller, the proportional band is five. If I want to slow it down, I'll make that larger. So let me try and change it up to 20. Click on the OK. If I move the access window, push Run. And it has helped. You can see it's a little more stable, but it's still jumping around. So I could try and increase that value and possibly make it 50 and run. And now I'm going to pause it and it's still jumping around. When I look at what value I've got for the acid, the output, if I take one step, it's going up to 13, goes down to 11, and you can see that the maximum it gets to is 13 and then the value, the measured acid, goes up to 10 and we only want it to be 2. So what that's telling me is my acid controller only need approximately 10 tons an hour. And if I look at it, I've got a 50 here. So let me go and take that down to 20 tons. So bring it closer to what I think I need. And now if I push run, you can see we've stabilized completely. We now need 12.699 tons of acid to give us 2 grams per litre in the output. And our steam is also now controlled at 0.987 tons to give us 150 degrees. So the way to troubleshoot a PID controller often is use your trend window, look at your proportional band, and then look at your output and make sure that you haven't set your output too high for the amount of material that you need. I hope that helps when you come to troubleshoot a PID controller.